Okay, let's talk about the um, electronic travel authorization, also known as the ETA. People traveling to United Kingdom without a visa will soon need to get an ETA. But before we go into it, let's first go back to uh, what the UK Parliament said uh, at the beginning of this year that was published on the 24th of April, 2023. It's like an insight to the electronic travel authorizations. What is the ETA? Uh, the government border strategy will require electronic travel authorization for some people to travel to the UK. This insight explains what an ETA is and who will, will need one. So if you're going to be traveling into the UK, uh, this might be something that you want to uh, you know, listen carefully. Uh, not all countries are already in the ETA, but there are other countries that will be joining as well. By the end of this uh, 2024, people who do not need a visa to enter the United Kingdom will need to have an electronic travel authorization or the ETA before they leave their country coming into the UK. Already, uh, you will know whether you are a country that needs a visa into the UK. So if you're one of those countries that still need a visa, this is still not going to apply to you yet. We are focusing on those countries that do not need to have a visa to travel to United Kingdom. And I'm going to be telling you more about that. Once again, this is part of my 25 years in the UK uh, explaining uh, how the system works from immigration and other areas. You might want to leave your comment below in the comment section. If there's an area you want us to look into, I'll be more than welcome to talk about it. Uh, going from what we know, uh, the there is, these non-visa nationals will include citizens from the European Union, the United States citizens can currently travel to the UK without a visa if visiting for up to six months. The new system was introduced by the Home Office will require visitors to apply and you will have to pay a small amount of fee for the ETA before you think of even getting to the airport. As a result, some kind of advanced permission to travel either on an ETA or visa will be mandatory for all travelers to the UK except the British and the Irish citizen. Similar scheme exists in other countries and the European Union is setting up its own version. The government says the scheme will improve border security because it will have more information about the non-visa visitors and more time to screen them. Advanced screening will, according to the Home Office, reduce the number of people denied entry at the border. So that literally means that, uh, you know, by the time you are done this ETA, uh, it will have done the screening and it also saves times at the border control. Again, what is a UK electronic travel authorization? The UK immigration rules give some information about ETA. People will apply online or through a mobile app. The form will ask for a photograph, biographical and contact information, your passport details, and answers to questions about criminal offenses and immigration rules. The Home Office eventually wants people to provide fingerprint but will not require these until it can be done remotely through an app. The department has been running feasibility trials to be able to capture your fingerprint for self-upload technology. So hopefully that will be added in the, you know, in some times, uh, you know, as this new program is now inactive. Decisions may be automated and ETA will usually be issued within three working days. People could be refused on the ETA because of past convictions or overstaying in the country. Is this going to cost you some money? Yes. How much will the UK electronic travel 
authorization cost. The fee is yet to be confirmed as at April, but I can confirm that you're looking at about 10 pounds to nine pounds. But the Home Office says the cost will be competitive with that of equivalent system run by other countries. The Australian already have the Electronic Travel Authority, which cost about 20 Australian dollars. That's about 11 pounds. The European Travel Information and Authorization System will cost six pounds. So when is the UK bringing these into uh, in our place? And that then takes us to the latest update as at the 9th of March, 2023. People traveling to the UK without a visa we so need to get an ETA. Like I explained earlier, it's an electronic travel authorization will soon be a requirement for the people who do not need visa. Again, this is going to be specific to those who do not need visa to come to the UK. So if you're a country that you need a visa, this does not apply to you. It will give you permission to travel to the UK. It will be electronically linked to your passport. You will need an ETA if you're going to be in UK for up to six months for tourism, visiting family and friends, or for business or study. Come to the UK for up to three months for creative work visa concession, even if you're traveling through a transit through the UK, including if you're not going through the UK border control. So it is important that the countries that will be at advantage to start with, if you're a national of Qatar, you will need an ETA if you're traveling to the UK on or after the 15th of November, 2023. You'll be able to apply for next month, October 25th. If you're a national of Bahrain, Jordan, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, or the United Arab Emirates, you will also need an ETA if you're traveling to the UK on or after the 25th of February, 2024. You'll be able to apply from the 1st of February, 2024, which is next year. If you are a national of any other country, you do not need to apply for an ETA now. More nationals will be added to the scheme. Again, you will not need an ETA if you have a British or Irish passport, if you have a permission to leave, work, or study in the UK, a visa to the enter the UK. If you live in Ireland and you are not an Irish citizen, you will not need an ETA if all of the following apply. You are a legal resident in Ireland, you do not need a visa to enter the UK, or you are entering the UK from Ireland. You can prove you live in Ireland by showing any of these. So many of us that will be traveling can apply through the UK ATA app, or you can go on the online. That is the information for those of you that have been asking, what is the meaning? of the electronic travel authorization. My name is Olami Koiki, and this is part of my 25 years in UK as I continue to share my knowledge with many of you. Put the comment below and let me know what your feelings are and what you think about these new rules that will be applying to some countries, but also not to some other countries due to the fact that some of you need a visa to get to the UK.